What was it? That face. That face the airman saw one dawn flight at the height of war. Solemn in the water's glass far below, framed by reed and alder cars. Wraithed in mist at first light. Was its mouth the wake an otter cut? Did perch and pike break surface and make the round pupils of its sight? Did a wind from the south stipple and lap and lace little waves into the sleek oval of its face? Did these things meet in that split moment seen by those airmen from their cockpits in dawn lights of 1916? Or was it the face of an old god? Of death and birth? Of mud and bud and wood? of sap and bone and blood, keeping its long measure of the night and the waxing light. Was it already in the sodden ground? When diggers came with long spades and found the peat, Did it flinch when they cut skin to bone and took the black gold of its flesh to heat 10,000 homes? Did it bask in the glory years when each thought was water crystal clear and countless eels writhed in its deeps? and stickleback, rudd, tench, darted, raced, and with a consciousness behind its face. When bittern, heron, goose, kingfisher and swan were its shifting mood, its speech and song, where did it go, that place? In the dark days, when toxic seep took hold, and algae clouded every thought, and life irrepressible grew weary and old, and the eels disappeared. Can we see it again? Today, as the waters clear, and the old denizens of broad and fen cautiously come close again. And where will it be if glaciers melt and seas rise and salt streams overwhelm the fresh and sand is carried by the tide and all this green and tender land is melted into estuary? But let's not talk of what has been, what's yet to come. Look again, now, the broad is always now, and its face as ancient and young as skull and bone beneath your skin. Was the face the airmen saw that time their own? Lean over, look down. Is it yours and mine?